Hi guys, welcome back to Sadler Up Nails. I'm going to show you how to make one of my most popular designs for this summer, which is my cotton candy rainbow drip nail set. Now I start off with a white base. Uh, my favorite white is Ugly Duckling. I just find it to be the most opaque and it is not very streaky once you apply the second coat. Um, now I do believe I did three coats of the white just to ensure um, it is fully, fully opaque. Um, and you know what, it just adds a little bit of strength to the nail too. Um, so now before we add the color, we're actually going to put down a matte base coat. Um, now I know I usually apply my pigments directly to the dispersion layer of the gel polish, but um, this time we're doing a different technique where we apply it directly on top of a matte top coat. Um, so I did use Ugly Duckling's matte, which does have a dispersion layer, which you saw me wiping off there. And I will be using Daily Charms um, Neon Pigments. I did buy these all together um, in a collection. I'm not sure if they still sell them that way, um, but if they do, it is definitely worth it. So I just use my finger and I dip it. I just dip my finger into the pigment and then I rub it over the mat. And this is after I wiped off the dispersion layer. So this is directly onto the matte finish and um, the pigment just, it sticks nice, um, nice and smoothly, I guess is the way I would describe it. Um, it doesn't, it's not as blotchy as when you apply it to the dispersion layer. So um, to go on to your next color, I just cleaned off my finger with a cotton pad with some isopropyl alcohol on it. And then I went into the next color and continued on with the same process. Now you are gonna wanna make sure you're putting complementary colors uh, beside each other so that you don't end up with brown. Um, so that is another tip. Um, I, I like to start with the pink and then I just kind of go along the rainbow, honestly. Um, so now we're coming in with the neon yellow here. And then next, I believe, oh, well, here's, here's me showing you all the nails. And then next is we're coming in with the orange. Like I said, I'm just kind of going um, along the rainbow and making sure I don't make it look muddy, I guess I should say. And you are also gonna to wanna to make sure that you are putting your color um, at the base and the tip of the nail. And that is so that you get a really cool rainbow look um, once we do the drip design later on. So now I'm coming in with my last color, which is green um, and there you have it. That's the set um, before we come on to our next step, which is I used Bio Seaweeds. This is their builder top coat, which is a little bit thicker. And I mixed it with some um, glitter. It was like a white. I didn't show this step. I'm, I think I either I forgot to record it or I deleted the footage. So my apologies. <laughs> Um, so now I'm just using a dotting tool to make the drip design with the top coat mixed with glitter. Now I did originally try using um, just a, the regular Ugly Duckling top coat and it ended up being too runny. My drips started running down on me and they just didn't hold their form. So if you don't have a builder top coat, you can use a builder gel. Um, you'll just probably have to then go over it with a top coat once again. Um, and I just hate, I hate having to do a design twice. So um, I like using this builder top coat because then I only have to paint it in once and the design is finished. So now I'm just using a striping brush to do the, um, I guess the long drip portion. Um, and then I come in with a, another detail brush to fill in the top. And my tip with doing drip is that you always want to 
round it out between each strip to make it look um, a little bit more natural. Um, so yeah, that's that's the step for the drip nail. And the other nail, which I did either lose footage or did not record, um, they're just fully painted with the top coat that has the glitter in it, which you can see here. Um, and so now I am going to top that nail with my no wipe top coat, um, just so that you don't feel any grittiness of the glitter. I'm not worried about that on the drip design because that was done a little bit thicker um, and I'm pretty, like the glitter was pretty um, set, encapsulated into it is what I'm trying to say. Um, so now this is the reveal. I just uh, sprayed some isopropyl alcohol onto a cotton pad and then you just wipe away um, the pigment that was is on the nail that's not covered by the top coat so since we just put it directly on a matte top coat the nail is now finished and it looks so gorgeous this is why i said make sure you do your colors like going down the nail so that you see the rainbow um going up the drips and that's it i hope you like it thank you please like and subscribe to my channel because i will be posting a lot more bye